Yes, you've heard it right. I found a vegan documentary that will make you go vegan or strengthen your beliefs if you're already a vegan. Not possible, you might think, well it is. Some people have suggested this to me and I was like, I'm already a vegan, I don't need to watch this. But after watching this vegan documentary called Dominion, I was like, what the f man? What the f This is probably what it felt like when Neo took the red pill in the Matrix. No, no. Imagine Neo took a red, red pill in the Matrix. So then he realized when he thought he was red pilled before, he was actually still in a Matrix. So he had to take the red, red pill. This vegan documentary Dominion was first released in 2018 and has since amassed the total viewership of YouTube where you can watch it for free of over 1 million people. And guess what? It red-pilled some meat eaters. Doran Hunter writes, Now I understand why animal activists engage in direct action. I support them without reservation. Niranjan Gupta writes, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. <laughs> we have to pay heavy for this unnecessary torture, ashamed of being human. This vegan documentary is so effective that vegan influencers like Joey Carbstrong actually have this documentary in their YouTube description constantly. See, I've watched Earthlings and I've watched Dominion and Dominion nearly gave me symptoms of PTSD. So what is so different in this documentary? See, today you will get a review of the vegan documentary Dominion and why this is a game changer. Dominion is so hard to watch, not because of blood or gore or death, but because it confronts us with the darkest of darkest of sides of human nature. It's like watching a shocking documentary of the Second World War. But in the Second World War documentary, you can at least tell yourself, ah, these are all relics of the past. All good brain, all good brain. We don't live in a world full of sociopaths. Well, you cannot really tell yourself this with a, with a vegan documentary dominion. The documentary gives you the feeling that our human existence is so flawed that it almost goes beyond comprehension. This vegan documentary gives you the feeling of this happens around us. Dominion is actually an Australian documentary and the main message that they want to convey in that movie is that this animal cruelty happens around us. Animals do not get treated badly in foreign countries only. No, that's not how it happens. And the pictures that you see online are no exceptions. They're the rule. Dominion displays two hours of full horror that afterwards you look in the mirror and you ask yourself, where the f have we come to? Where the f have we come to? Don't believe me? Realize this. Next to minks and foxes, we skin dogs and cats for fur. And more often than not, these animals are skinned alive. This happens in China, but they export it to our countries. And the reason these animals are skinned alive is not because they get handled by some sociopathic humans. It's because it's too expensive if they get killed first, if they get killed with a bolt pistol. Because if you as a manufacturer in China use a bolt pistol to kill animals more humanely, your competitor won't. So you get put out of business. The competitors can undercut them on prices. But the hardest of these things to realize is not that this it's not essentially that this happens around us. It's that while this happens around us, we constantly try to shove it under the rug. For example, horses get killed behind green screen during races. Research facilities on animals are kept behind barbed wires and heavily protected with security personnel. Losing faith in humanity after watching this movie is probably understated. See, I almost envy people that live in their bubbles of ignorance. I envy people with a low IQ that think they are geniuses. Living with cognitive dissonance is probably easier than facing the hard truth. And the hard truth is that we are all essentially primitive apes that just inhabit this planet with no real clue what is going on around us. 
Number two, I also think that we should change the word humane. I honestly think that we should change the word humane because humane slaughtering practices is definitely not what our species wants to get associated with. At least the bright side of our species. Because we also need to understand that humans are flawed. And I think calling something humane gives marketers with a realistic worldview a huge possibility of speculation. I mean, you could call killing humane or war or rape. That doesn't mean that those things are good. I think we should replace the word humane with something that involves less speculation, like suffering minimization practices. And most of all, if we do that, we need to enforce those laws regarding suffering minim minimization practices religiously. Religiously and ridiculously. See, I hate what this vegan documentary displays. Yet I love what it stands for. Yet I'm a strong believer that we should not show this to children. We should not show this to children. I've seen a couple of comments under this movie that claim that this should be mandatory to watch for all school children. No, it freaking shouldn't. Let me explain. See, this is intuitively a good idea. And we're all in the same boat here. We want to put veganism across the goal line. But 100% of the decisions that young children make are influenced by the actions of their parents. So even if children would decide to go vegan, their uninformed parents would not allow the dietary change. The brain of a child is extremely malleable and they don't yet know how to deal with traumatic scenes as good as adults do. Heck, the scene of the dog getting killed in the movie burned itself even in my brain. And I've seen enough of weird stuff before. We shouldn't guard our children from reality, but there's a time and place for that reality to enter into their lives. Remember parents start with the birds and bees talk, not show their children hardcore pornography. Most parents at least. We should show that movie to every single parent, but we should not show it to children. But we should not show it to children. Conclusion. These were my three main thoughts about the Dominion move. We need to realize that this happens around us. We need to change the meaning or the word humane and we should not show this to children. However, every parent and especially every carnivore, even worse if they're the mix of both, if they're a carnivore parent, should watch this documentary. It's heartbreaking, shattering and traumatizing. But frankly, that's how vegan documentaries probably should be. I think somehow that's what most adults need to change. The mission of this YouTube channel is to put veganism across the goal line. If you want to help us achieve that, like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Let's make food production great again.